Hello Excel champions, it's William aka Dr. Excel. Today I'm going to show you a formula to get every Monday of the year in Excel. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you right away how it works and I'm going to give you the final file. There's going to be a link right below the video uh, so you can download it and check the formula and follow everything with me. So first, the very simple way to um, find all the Mondays of the year, it's, uh, it's going to be a semi-manual way. It's going to, you're going to type the first day of the year. Uh, we're going to type the um, long date so we can see the actual days of the week. Uh, and we're going to look for the first Monday of the year. So it's going to be Monday, January 7th, like this. And now we can just add 7 to, um, oops, we can take this date at seven, seven days. And this is going to give us the list of several, uh, I mean, of all the following Mondays of the year. So that's, that's the first way to do it. Of course, it's going to work. I'm going to show you a more advanced formula to do this. But of course, this is going to work for every day of the week. If you want to find all the Sundays, of course, it's going to work. You just have to tweak it to, um, to adapt it to Sunday. So that's the first uh, way. But uh, for example, if we just if we don't want to do this manually each time, we, if we just have the um, the number of the year, for example, I'm going to do 2020, uh, and we want the full list of all the Mondays. How are we going to do this? So first, we need to know uh, what uh, what is the first day of the of this year. So it's gonna, we're going to do date of uh, this year, and we're going to take January as the month and the 1st of January as the day. So this is going to give us the date. Uh, we're going to take a long date and it's a Wednesday. So if we want, uh, what we can do, we'd like to know which day it is. So for that, we can use the function weekday, weekday, which uh, we take the, this date and uh, we have to specify when the week starts. Uh, so I prefer when the week starts on Monday, so it's uh, the second parameter is two. And so Tuesday, so so I'm gonna do this on, in another cell. Uh, Wednesday, and I'm going to take the date and um, yeah, so now I take the weekday. Weekday of, the, of this, two, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so it tells me it's a three. So if I want the first Monday, so what I'm going to do, uh, so I'm going to write it a little bit. So yeah, uh, date to find date to find, we're going to write, for example, um, here we want the Monday, so we're going to take one. And uh, of course, this is th this number. Uh, you have to know that Monday is one, Tuesday is two, etc. So we want to find the Mondays. So now, and here I'm going to put the result. Um, so now uh, that I know the weekday of the first day of the year, I can uh, start from that. I'm going to start uh, from the date. So I'm going to say date. Uh, I'm going to start with the 1st of January. From this date, I know that it is um, that it's a Wednesday. So I'm going to take this. Um, so if it's a Wednesday, so it's three days. So I'm going to go back three days. And I'm going to go forward from one. So. If the first day is a Wednesday, so I'm going to do Tuesday, Monday, Sunday, so last Sunday, and I'm going to go back for one of one, it's going to be a Monday. And this gives me something in 2019, so I have to add a week to be in the correct week, to be in the correct year, sorry. And so it's going to give me Monday 6th of January 2020. Um, and we didn't choose, actually I have to do plus, plus, uh, plus this day, you know, 
So if we want to find the Tuesday, it's going to be Tuesday, like this. And now we can try this for um, for plenty of dates. So I'm going to scroll and test several dates possible. Um, and we're going to find the Mondays each time. And you see that, yeah, so I have to find the... Uh, I don't have to increase this and you see that uh, it always returns it always returns the first Monday of the year except actually it doesn't work if the um, if the first of January is actually a Monday so what we're gonna do because here it should be the first of January in 20, 20, um, 24 so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use a, a, an if formula here so here we're gonna say uh, if Plus if uh, this if the this weekday is equal to if we have the correct we, uh, weekday already, then we display we use zero and otherwise seven. So this way we're going to to um, to add seven only if the uh, if the first of January is not already the day that we're looking for. And here I should be in 2024 and in 2029 it should change. Yeah, so here in 24, 2024 and 2029 it's actually the 1st of January. So uh, because we should never have a date which is uh, further than the 7th of January. So here it is. That's the final function. It's a bit complicated but it seems to work uh, to have all the Mondays of, of the year. So each time now that you have this date, you can uh, go and um, that's going to be actually the first Monday of the year. And if you want the, all the Mondays of the year, uh, you're going to say you're going to start here and then you're going to do plus seven each time uh, to have the list of all the Mondays. And if you want the list of all the Tuesdays, uh, it's going to work as well. Um, and for any any um, any date and any day of the week so uh, you can download the file right below don't forget to download it to have all the formulas and i will see you i will see you tomorrow for a new excel tutorial don't forget to subscribe this way you will be notified as soon as i publish it see you champions ciao